How we get now, folks? We're back again. Back with the thrill. Oh, yeah, I'm back. And I'll keep coming. I'm not shaking your hand. God knows where your hand's at, the beaming. Smell of it. Oh, yeah, we're back again. Red cow. I'm at the catch in the tail end. We've got here a bit late. But, uh, this is what it is. Holiday, all the, what's that minister of Gorm and his ordinary seek and temporary oh, conventions and class here. Little little body body of of yeah, little yeah, and the rest, 30 p that county is. Well, well no, but that's why he offered his hands. I'm not shaking no hand, God knows where that be, man. <laughs> well, we're back here again. No rest for the wicked, as to say. Um, I just stand people now. She read help, but... Like they're all in here, they're all in there. They're everywhere. I need a haircut, aren't they? Oh, they are not heaven. Oh, yeah, no. They are not heaven. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> 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 he just put his hand out to shake. I was like, no, shake, no hand. Go away, man. Not two nights in a row, one handed as it is. <laughs> No passport, no entry. And there's something nice on the back as well, isn't there? There you go. There you go. It's good, it's good. We'll head off before the rest of that number goes in. The only flag that should be flying in this country, folks. The only flag. 40% of these immigrants, predominantly male, are undocumented, unvetted. Why? Why is the big question? Why? Why, why, why? I made it! <laughs> what, does your, what, what does your son say? Don't hit me now. Fuck off. <laughs> Free Kevin! I don't know if that's it, that's it. We just want to know a few answers to a few questions. Ah, they don't do it. There's one on this brand new scooter, look at me. <laughs> yeah, look, the red cow in. They're in there. There's a little building down there as well, it's a white building. Looks like it's getting done up for them as well, though, when we haven't looked last time. Yeah, all right, yeah? yeah. All right. <laughs> and then I'll draw my hair as well, yeah. I see in, in here last week there was a child's, uh, a teenage disco. A lot of teenagers, yeah? And, uh, hold on. But just in, just in, in the grounds there, folks, there was a teenage disco last week. And you want to see all the men up in the window. All oh, looking out, peering at the teenagers not going in. And we were trying to say it. We were trying to say it to the, to the mothers and the parents and fathers dropping them in. And again, it looks like we had ten heads, man. We were like, look, all you have to do is look over there. And we were like, listen, look over there. And you'd see a fucking... Uh, and you'd see them all like looking out. I'm just grabbing this bag of t-shirts here, look at it. Their t-shirt saying, uh, air is my island and uh, think oil it's still legal and all. I actually, <laughs> I actually have one of the t-shirts on me now, it's a green one that says, uh, sticks and stones and they break our bones for causing me fire right and never hurt me. <laughs> I actually had to put one on last night in the station because the t-shirt I had on me was soaked and wet and manky dirty. When the copper gave me the t-shirt down with the bag, he was like, what does that say? <laughs> I don't know if I was just a guy, you know yourself. Keep it peaceful and all that jazz, but it's just in here, look. In the Red Cow, like they're in the main hotel. They're in, uh, they're in the Ibis. It's another little small hotel at the back of it. There's, there's loads, it's about four, between Tala and Clondalk and there's about 5,000 of them. Five, 5,000 unvetted men. And that's sick, isn't it? Like, what do you want to do? Like, what? What are you waiting for? To ha like, what are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Basically, 
you know, it's the same out in Q look, look out in Lock last night, there was not even a hundred people. Like, what are you waiting like, What are you waiting for? I don't know. Like, I was man hand last night by the police. Look, I'm a one hand banded now for the next two weeks. My hand is badly swollen and bruised. Pray to God, thank God there was no breaks in it. But, uh, a big cut on the top of my leg and a bruise. Small little cut there on the side of my head as well. I know the arm might be small or whatever, but they're all injuries that were not there before the police got their hands on me last night, so. We will be going forward or about it, say no more. There's the man there that got me arrested in bed. <laughs> I'm only messing. Told me little cousin from day one, since you start coming out here, I protect them. Didn't I? Yeah. Let nobody open their mouth to them. Let nobody lay a hand on them. Because that's my family. And nobody touches my family and gets away with it. Simple as. Oh yeah, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. But one of the lads, one of the lads might take them. Because I'm not carrying them back. Five ways bleed. More than me. <laughs> you know? That is what it is. So I'll walk down here and I'll show you this, uh, this other building that's supposed to be earmarked for them anyways. Staying away from the pedo protectors tonight I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them a bit of slack. I'm gonna give them a day off. <laughs> we'll see what happens the weekend then. <laughs> oh. Have a little chant that so it goes, hey Murphy, leave our kids alone. And we have another one as well that'll so tell me, Ma, when I go home, trans cunt won't leave the kids alone. Pull her up by the main, now they call him by no name. She was handsome, she was pretty, now they cut off her two titties. She's the curtain, one, two, three, now they call her little Tommy. <laughs> oh yeah. This is just a couple of little chants we made. We're gonna try and turn them into a full blown out song we are. And it's gonna hit number one in the charts. Yeehaw! Do you remember these jokes here last night, folks? Or last week? Do you remember the video I done last week? Now the windows now are all blocked up. And the blinds are down. The curtains are pulled across. You can't even see in the top of that one anymore. This place here is supposed to be getting done up for them as well. It's literally right beside the Red Cow Hotel. Not doing that. I'm just letting people know that that's being earmarked for refugees. That's all. And as I walk down, look, here's the police down at me, look. They just don't give us a break, like, seriously. They're down, they're down there, look at, they're trying to see if you are down there into the building they are. No, I just walked down there because last week, there's actually, it's actually on me, you, yeah, actually, folks, sub subscribe to me YouTube, yeah. It's Kevin Coyle, 4726. And uh, subscribe to me, me Telegram as well. It's a public channel. It's Kev DBC Twenty One. Yeah. So get on it. Yeah, there's people in there now. Yeah. In that, I uh, know. Yeah. yeah. That's always the same thing. Like last week, there was no one in it. There was no blowing down. There was no curtains around pulled across. That looks like Stephen Bedford joke, doesn't it? A little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Thought that was Mr. Bedford that I shown his face. He's able to get pulled out. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of information. Oh, I tell you, hush, hush, that. But uh, now nah, that building down there, like I said last week, it's on my YouTube, and you can see it. Um, there's no one in the rooms. There's no lights on. There's no uh, like there's no f fucking blind that are down. Portland's pulled across ramp. As soon as you get down there now, there is. You know what I mean? There's more lights on now than there was last week. So now it is. It's, it's getting done up for them, folks. And it just sickens you at the fact that they can't do it for the Irish people. You know what I mean? 
12,000 Irish homeless people. Officially homeless, officially. Look, there's three of our wonderful guests there, look. Smile. Give us a smile. Three of our wonderful guests there and they don't even have the decency to give you a smile. They'd smile for a pedophile, but... See all these places are red cow everywhere. They should be all they should be all abandoned. You know when uh, when all this shit is said and done? They should be all avoided. Nobody should spend another cent in the red cow or any holiday inn. Because there's a few holiday inns that are all uh, There's a few holiday inns that are housing all these men. So when all this is said and done folks, all you have to do is avoid them all. This simple ass go spending your money in places that uh, refuse to house these men in. That's all you do, you know what I mean? Go spend your money in places like the whole, like during COVID. Still a lot of people now that are not going to places that forced uh, passes and shit like that, you know what I mean? So there's still people now that there's still people now that avoid all them places. There's still people now like, like us after every uh, after every march on the weekend, we hit a certain a certain place in town because all during COVID, they didn't discriminate. They didn't look for this or that or whatever, you know. So that's why we all still go there now. That's all you have to do, folks. It's just there. Uh, just that boycotting all these places that enforce just into everything. That's all it is. Because there's many a people, there's many a good people, there's many a good companies, good restaurants. That didn't, uh, that didn't enforce the the rule, you know. So that's all you have to do. Is get out and support them. Support the people that supported you, and then see the people that discriminated against you. Don't do one. Don't do one for them, you know. There's another one of our. There's another one of our wonderful guests that doesn't even have the decency to give you a wave or a smile. But look at that. Like I said. Red Cow Inn, Dodger. Holiday Inn, Dodger. Every other, every other place, apparently like hotel, that has housed these men, has put your communities into direct danger. Put your families, your children, your, your partners, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your aunties, your uncles. All them places that put all them people in direct harm and direct danger. Avo avoid them all. Don't go back. And sooner rather than later, they go bust. Simple as, and let's keep just let's keep the uh, let's keep the good ones afloat. The ones that looked after us during the hard times, and now we we'll repay them with our good faith, because that's what we are. We're all good, staunch Irish patriots. Patriots at the end of the day, you know that's all we are. And it's miserable weather here again, folks. And you're still getting a good, and you're still getting a good crowd, you know. Absolutely not. You lift up your passport, lift up your face, they'll help you. Yeah. Watch me get a brand new home tomorrow. I'm ripping my passport up my face. She's right. She's right. You know? God, does that think that's madness, no? The fact that there's people on housing lists in our 10, 15, 20 years. And then you have like a government coming in and saying, you're gonna get a house, and then everybody that comes here will be given a house in four months. You know what I mean? That's fine out of order, like, you know what I mean? And look, a typical, he won't even answer you. And for anybody who's thinking, I'm not, I'm not actually giving them grief, I'm just asking them a question. That's all. There's another one of our wonderful guests there, look at it. And it's flip flops and the socks, the scruffy little muck.
My God, you not, you not think that's a bit mad now? You have people on house in this 10, 15, 20 years. And then you have like, looks about Gorman and all, tweeting her out in 21 different languages. That any asylum seeker refugee comes here to be housed within four months. Do you not think that's wrong now? Sorry, you don't think that's wrong? You had to be nodding your head there a second just before I turned the, the, the phone up. This, this fella here, L40. And this one here, L23. They have, they both have no problem with Irish people. Hold on. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Tweedledee, Tweedledum. They both have no problem with Irish people sitting on houses this 10, 15, 20 years and Roger Gogom and tweeting around in 21 different languages uh, that everybody who comes here will be housed within four months. I don't know, listen, I was just asking them a question, how did you feel about that, you know what I mean? And I said, do you not see anything wrong with that? And the cop nodded his head and said no, basically, you know what I mean? It's, I wasn't having a... I wasn't having a go at them. I was just asking them a question, you know. I'm giving them a night off I am from the hassle. <laughs> I'll be back hassling them the weekend. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, but look, that's a genuinely, that's all I was doing. I was just asking them a question. I says, how do you feel that people on the housing list 10, 15, 20 years and then you have people uh, coming here and getting housed in four months and they nod their head and say, no, we don't see anything wrong with that. It's sick, you know, it's sick. But the show goes on anyway, folks. The show goes on whether there's, whether there's only 10 people, 100 or 1,000, the show goes on. We cause enough we cause enough disruption and enough noise to let people know. And that's all you ever get as well over here is beeps and honks the horns and everything else. Or another wet, cold, miserable night. But the lads and ladies, the true patriots of our island of Erde are out and about again. Like they always will be, you know? You know, they always will. Hail, rain or snow, the people must know. <laughs> yeah, it was just a little bit about last night as well there. Uh, I was hit with the guard, three charges, three public guard charges, section 6, section 8 and section 19. Well, the section 8 won't stand because they didn't actually ask me to move or leave the area. It was just when I got up, in, I went up into the copper, right? my little cousin said that one of the coppers manhandled him and swung him around, right? So we just walked over. I said, look, which one is that to put your hands on him? He's only 14. And he was like, would you like to make a complaint about it, right? So I says, no, I don't want to make a complaint about it. I want to deal with it right here now. I want to tell him not to be putting his hands on my 14-year-old cousin. It was a child. And he smirked at me, basically, yeah. He said, would you like to make a complaint? I said, no. I says, because he was knocked down. The same fellow, my little cousin, my little cousin, 14, was knocked down a month ago at the last Clear Hall protest. And we haven't heard nothing back. No phone call, no nothing. So he says, I'm going to deal with it here now. I'm going to tell him not to be putting his hands on him. And I says, I said then about the hit and run. It was basically a hit and run. He was involved in last month at the one at Clear Hall. And I says, what's being done about that? And then I got loud and I says, what's being done about that? And then that's when he swiped his hand out to grab me. And then I ran. And then I realised, I thought to myself, what the fuck am I running for? I've done nothing. You know? And then I turned around and I took about six or seven eight steps back towards them and then I literally got bear hugged swung to the ground he had that knee sitting basically at the top of me back he had me head mashed into the ground you know it's nothing it's only a, it's only a tiny little bleeding cut where I have a big cut on the top of my leg and a bruise and all and like I said my hand my hand is swollen and bruised it's in this velcro strap for the next two weeks as well I well, know they're only minor injuries but there are injuries that weren't there before the police got their hands on me last night, so I will be going forward about it, like I said already. But, uh, what's up? I have him nodding his head. Have you? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, was just, he was just saying there that he has uh, he has the copper on video nodding his head when I ask him. Did not think that, uh, that's bang out of order. Like, about the Irish people on housing this 10 to 20 years, and then all these refugees and 
scammers basically coming over. They're renting their houses out in their own country, and then you know they're renting out, they're renting out their own countries. He's heading off, yeah. The guy that's after that, yeah. There it is, there. Yeah. Just let me grab me drink, yeah, but it's still there. There you go. Yeah. You too, brother. Yeah, look at the yeah. See you again, yeah? Right, are, we out? are we over now, yeah? yeah. Right, folks, that, this is it. Over and out from the Red Cow on the sunny south side. Peace out.